Well, they're all a little dead. We got shiners, we got two dozen, but most of them are dead. We're still gonna use them, whether they're for peacocks or whatever else, I don't know. We didn't have a bubbler, and we didn't take the time to stop at like Walmart or anything to get one. We're still gonna make the most of it. We're out here at this little canal. There's a pond not far behind us that also has some giant peacocks, so we're gonna try there too. But for right now, we're gonna try in this canal. It's got peacocks, mayans, and I think we also saw like some pleco catfish. I'm gonna throw the GoPro on, get some of these dead shiners rigged up, and we're gonna get after it. See you in just one second. Oh, P, look at you. Got to get that guy on camera. Look there, Colby's first P. Not a huge one, but it's only up from here, right? Heck yeah. Nice. Dude, there's so many of them in here. Yeah. Well, since most of our shiners are dead, we're just making the best of it. a decent sized pea right here. I think this one might be on bed. Can't really tell. What you got? Woo! That's what I like to see. Dang, I was changing my GoPro battery. Oh, that's a pretty one, bro. Well, guys, I went to go change my GoPro battery, of course, and I missed Raleigh's first catch, but it's a pretty one. Good job, bud. There you go. Beauty. I'm still working this pea on this bed. All right, so let me sort of set the... Oh my gosh, he hit it. Oh my God. Oh. I just had a giant. That was not even the one that I've seen. Not a bad one. That's a good one, dude. Hey, we gotta get that one on camera, bro. We gonna knock it on him. What a sick fish. Look at the gut. Oh my gosh. Nice, bro. Send him back. Yep. Oh. Okay, bye. Oh, there he goes. See you, bud. Still working on this bed fish, guys. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. I know you saw that Yeah. One. Oh my gosh, I got eight. Oh, we got him. I got the huge one. Here, someone come, someone come land it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, he's gonna break me. Don't say that. Oh. Bring him right here. He's huge. Bring him right here. He's huge. Bring him right here. And he's in weeds. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't do me dirty. All right, Cole. He's around this side. Oh. Woo! We have a very big double up here. Come by that lip. Let's go! Woo! Oh. Yeah! Let's go! That right there is a tank of a peacock bass. So, uh, Colby's has a little bit of a swallowed uh, hook in the gullet issue. So, that one might have to go in the ice box. But, great double up. Either way, we're going to get some pictures and we're going to try to release both. If not, just this one. What an awesome day. First peacock of the trip, and it's a stud. Sweet. See a big girl, dude. Don't really know what you are because you don't really have a hump, but you don't not have a hump. There she goes. Yes, sir. Coleman's been catching a supper. Colby and Raleigh got on their first peacocks, and that's one of my biggest peacock. Not my biggest peacock, but it's on up there. Oh, what a fantastic day. Awesome job on the double up, and Cole, Unfortunately, I mean, hold on. Unfortunately, his swallowed it. Her color was fading a little bit, and when they start doing that, that means they're dying. Colby did put us on our first food, or food, uh, peacock for the table, if I could find my words. It's been an awesome day. We've only been out here for like maybe an hour, and we've already caught giant mines, big peacocks, and got those two on their first peacocks ever, which is so awesome. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get it back to fishing. I'll see you on the next one. Let him eat it, let him eat it. I believe you have him. Giant brim. Oh my god. That is the biggest brim ever. <laughs> Good 
Coleman! <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> I thought it was a tilapia. Holy cow! I thought it was too at first. Then I saw that Calm big down. ear. Yeah. Oh, I can't get my hand around it. Jeez, that might be one of the biggest brim I've ever seen. Jeez, bro. That's huge. Well, well I guess we have to eat it too. Yeah, I guess. How he did, he did, did swallow, he swallow it. it. Oh, can't even see that. Yeah, I can't see the hook. You might just need to cut it off and we can get it back later. Good job, bro. That's a giant. <laughs> Golly. You just like yeeted him out of the water. Well, you never know what's going to be in South Florida. Goodness gracious. That is the single biggest, uh, I almost said peacock bass, brim I think I've ever seen. That's amazing. That is actually amazing. Wow. You are going in the ice chest, my friend. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up at this spot. It was actually a lot more productive than I think any of us were thinking, or at least I was thinking. We're going to go to the next spot, so maybe we can get this goon on a snakehead or a bigger peacock, something like that. So... See y'all, I can't speak, I'm heat. Uh, what's heat, it called? Heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion, that's what it is. We're gonna get to the next spot. Supposedly, it's got some Mondo Clown knives, so we're gonna see. See you there. All right, guys, we're at our final spot for fresh water today, and we've already, uh, we've already seen some big peas. There's some big boys down here, bro. Oh, I had one. I know, you're full. I didn't even know I had him. He took a huge bite out of this. Got him, got him. That's not the big one. There's a bigger one. How do you land one? Just yank him on up, baby. Hold on. Go I got it. Colby, there's a huge one. Okay, throw like straight out in front of you about 10 feet. All right, buddy, chill, chill. Come here, buddy. Coleman, I got 50 pounds of guck and three pounds of fish. Stop, you daggum not head. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Look at that home, that home pad. Oh no. Sorry, dude. So sorry. Ah. Woo! Look at that. Can't see him too well because I got you sort of set up in the car right now. He's probably about two pounds-ish. That head, dude. We actually got this particular spot from the guy that sold us the shiners today, so shout out to him. What a beautiful fish. All right, Boudreaux. There he goes. Into the muck. Oh. Yeah. Second peacock for the trip. There are tons and tons of nice quality size peacock in here. That was actually the smallest one out of the group of three that were sort of circling the area. So there's plenty of big chances. Let's get back on them. Walking across the street. Yeah. How y'all like that? New single coming out next Friday. Oh, big peacock. This is a pretty large peacock, guys. Not really sure how large because he's sort of deep under the water, but he's decent size. Ooh, he's ticked. I'm gonna put it right on his bed. Right in his territory. Ooh, ooh. I don't see another one guarding the bed, so I'm gonna guess this is the male getting it ready for the female. Dang, there's peacocks everywhere over here right now. There's a big one. Got him, oh my gosh, ah, oh, big one. Ah. All right, gosh dang it. Oh. See, see that little cleared out spot right there? Yeah. That's a big bed. They're ticked off. Oh, hello. <laughs> what is that? What? Oh, gosh, dog. Hey, buddy. Ooh. That is a toad. Toad and a half. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. There was a group of them. I was trying to catch one on the bed. That didn't work out. So sort of started casting around and all of a sudden they just exploded out of nowhere. And I got the mid-sized one. There was one down there that was absolutely behemoth. But I'll take this one any day. <laughs> what a beaut. So we're gonna let him rest for a second. Oh. What a pretty fish. See you, buddy. Big Bertha guy. All right, we're gonna try one more time for some peacocks and then we're gonna get out of here, move on to the next thing. Let's see what we can accomplish. Got him. Oh, God. Not a bad one. 
Not a bad one at all. Oh, little acrobat there. Yes, sir. Not the big one that I saw. Actually, he's like looking at this one right now thinking, what are you doing? Quality fish nonetheless. Yes, sir. Oh, and this guy's been caught recently. Check that out. This guy's got a little bit of a hole in his mouth from a recent catch. Pretty guy. Last one for the day, I do believe. Ow. Actually, we're gonna just launch that guy. All right, he's good. All right, guys, well, I was about to say. That was my last peacock for the day. But then the big boy came up and ate the shiner after the smaller one flung it off. So we're gonna try for that big one one more time. Oh my God. Caught a stinking large mouth. Come here, buddy. Lordy. First Florida largemouth of the trip. He absolutely choked it. There's a nice chunky little largemouth. The big peacock came up with him actually. That was pretty cool. I'm just gonna launch him back. Ugh. See you buddy. There were two peacocks staring at it and the largemouth just went. This is gonna be my last, last cast. I wonder how many times I've said that in my life. There was a very large peacock right on yours. Yep. Oh, oh. did he break? No, you still got your hook. Dude, go get another shiner. That thing was giant. Here, 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 just use this one. Just use this one. I didn't even think about that. I've caught plenty for today. That was, that was like five pounds. Easy. Let them eat it yep, oh well. Ain't live in the past. Nope, hindsight 2020. Ooh, something just swirled right there. I bet that was a clown knife. Ew. Yeah, well, Coleman, sorry, bud. At least we got to see him. At least it's not like a mystery on what you had. Cause that always makes me feel a lot worse when I don't get to see what I hooked. I was focused on catching supper last trip. <laughs> or last stop. And did he do it? Yes, he did. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh my gosh. There he is. That is the same one. Okay. Literally throw just beyond the weeds right in front of us. That is a giant. Oh, oh. You got him. Let him eat. Let oh, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Go easy, go easy. Holy crap. He's got a small hook, Colby, so. Oh my God. Hey, Woo! Oh God. Oh God. Just grab him. Don't unhook him. Finally. We sight fish that baby. Yeah. Woo! Hey, you want to take him over here so we can dunk him in water? Yeah. Get him washed off? Dude, I saw him swimming back up to the shore and I was like, this is the time. Is that your, that's gotta be close to your PB if it's oh, not. Another special shout out to Bait Shop, man. <laughs> <laughs> Book your uh, sight fishing charters with uh, at brandonclark.com. Not really, that's not even my email. What a beast. Yeah, we need to, we need to let her gain her strength back. And she fought hard. Come on, big mama. There you go. Get her go. Sheesh. That's what I'm talking about. New PBs have been broken. Two PBs in one day. I got close to my PB. Whew, it's been a fantastic morning of fishing. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on this morning's little fishing adventure. We're fixing to go get some grub, and then we're going to pick it right back up on the Atlantic coast, doing some snorkeling and doing a little bit of saltwater fishing. We had a great time this morning. So much is to come throughout this week. We have so many things planned, all sorts of videos coming your way. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope y'all are having a great and fantastic day. If you haven't done so already, smash that little red subscribe button and I will be seeing you later. Down here with me, Dick Coleman. Let's get this bad boy. Oh, there's one of them snails that causes hepatitis. <laughs>